The reality of life on the road for a working band isn't always so glamorous. Long drives, lousy food, dirty hotels. So we felt it was time to give these bands a chance to relax, shake off the road, and enjoy a little bit of TLC. It's time to pamper the band. If you guys weren't being musicians, if you weren't playing music, what, what would you be doing? Um, watching TV in my parents' house. <laughs> <laughs> Living with my parents and watching Netflix. That's a good um, alternative. I always thought that I would absolutely enjoy uh, owning and running a venue. All yeah, right. I okay, so music, music. Still music. So then okay. I'd still be in the scene, get to see my friends, yeah. but then don't have to go through. Cool. Yeah. What about, what about like fantasy? Like just... Not possible, but dream. Uh, <laughs> not not to say that it's not possible, <laughs> but you know, like uh, over the top. Fashion you can, you designer. Can, fashion designer. Uh, food critic. Food critic. Oh, that's that's really a pretty yeah. good one. Nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <food critic. laughs> Do you guys have a biggest fan? Somebody that you would give that title? Our biggest fan. Jim. Jim. Yeah, Jim, Jim for sure. Jim. Got, tell us about Jim. Oh, Jim's the nicest man. He's about, how old is he, 60, almost 70 maybe? Mm -hmm. He wears a cute little bonnet type hat, although now he wears our trucker hat. It's a fisherman hat. Yeah, fisherman hat. He's been changing Now he wears our trucker hat. But we just started noticing him coming to so many shows. We're like, have you guys been seeing that guy? That video, like this fisherman <laughs> hat with like this tourist He didn't come up and talk to you or anything? Not, like, not at first. Oh, wow. we, we went up to him actually, I think, yeah. because we not started noticing him at every one oh, wow. of our shows. And not and just our shows, our, our side project shows and our wow. bandmates shows. And like, he's just <laughs> the ultimate supporter. Yeah, right. and he'd drive really far too. And we're like, where are you from? And he's, and he's from this small, it's an island, right? Kameno Island, uh -huh. north of Seattle. Oh, wow. right now, an hour north. But anytime we play out west, he'll be there. Yeah, he'll drive like, 15 hours. That's awesome. That's crazy. Do you think he'll watch this video? Yeah, I'll probably. Really? He's we love you, Jabby, on the internet. <laughs> love you, Jim. <laughs> when you guys are on tour, what's the main thing you miss most about being home? Vegging out and watching TV. <laughs> <laughs> My bed is the best bed, bed in yeah. the world. Really? Beds are great. Do you guys have to stay on not very nice beds while you're on tour? It's just just random beds. Sometimes, random beds. Yeah. Sometimes they're better than beds at home, but sometimes, you know, it's like it's like a roll of the dice. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. I would say it's a roll of the dice. Cool. We have a pretty <laughs> damn good bed in our Sprinter van, though. But that only sleeps one to two. Yeah. You have a bed in the Sprinter? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Memory foam, baby, eight inches thick. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's great. What's like a, a tour day schedule for yep. you guys when you wake up and we try to figure out breakfast. We all text each other in the morning. Sometimes it's dirty. <laughs> dirty texts. <laughs> Tried to get us out of bed and then we need to go find something for breakfast. I, I, wait a second. I'm sorry to stop you here, but I'm confused about the dirty texts here. <laughs> I just, I wanted to start our last tour or something. I don't know. The well, boys are trying a, to do some thing, horny texts. Yeah, well, I had, a, I had a thing going with a friend of mine that is. Uh, couple friends of mine they're brothers and they're just like the raunchiest brothers of all time and so <laughs> are they called like they the started brothers? sending <laughs> they yeah pretty they should be they started sending me these really weird things <laughs> so i just started you were inspired back. i started firing back and then just let the whole group in on it <laughs> it's amazing it's really yeah it's terrifying sometimes <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice way to wake up it is cool. and uh, okay so we go get breakfast and then start driving start driving Do you, do you guys like grapes? Yeah. Grapes? What do you think is the best decision that you've ever made as a band? Mm. To do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you. Um, to move to Portland. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Where did, where did you start? In a tiny town in North Idaho. Oh, wow. That's where we grew up, and we just, uh -huh. after we graduated college, we just... We backed in with the parents. They're the best parents. They're just like really fun. So it's not like it wasn't like uh -huh. a bad move. Right. But definitely needed to get out of a small town. So mm -hmm. ever since we moved to Berlin, we've been like a real band. <laughs> that's cool. So that sort of made it. That's where you really went for it. Yeah, mm -hmm. totally. Kicked it up a notch. Yeah. What? How, what do you think of Portland? How do you feel there? Oh, I feel great. I feel super alive. Mm -hmm. I'm part of something that's happening. There's 
there's so many conscious young people who are really like-minded and mm -hmm. that's awesome yeah it feels really good It's a good